true understanding and mutual respect. Do not bridge blames, destructive, negative criticisms, false excuses and gossips. To express disappointments and ill feelings are normal. However, to gossip around certain people and events in order to put another person down and destroy one's credibility is a form of bullying. Whether one expresses it publicly or privately, beware of segregation, regionalism, individualism, discrimination, stereotyping, destructive criticism, false accusations, biased, wrong assumptions, prejudice, senseless comparison, and unwanted competition. Because life is much more meaningful to live for, where there is unity and harmony. These are the few ways we can practice humility, to speak as little as possible of oneself, to mind one's own business, not to want to manage other people's affairs, to avoid curiosity, to accept contradictions and correction cheerfully, to pass over the mistakes of others, to accept insults and injuries, to accept being slighted, forgotten, and disliked, to be kind and gentle even under provocation, never to stand on one's dignity, to choose always the hardest, never judge someone's character based on the words of another, instead study the motives behind the words of the person casting the bad judgment. An honest woman can sell tangerines all day and remain a good person until she dies. But there will always be naysayers who will try to convince you otherwise. Perhaps this woman did not give them something for free or at a discount. Perhaps too that she refused to stand with them when they were wrong or just stood up for something she felt was right and also it could be that some bitter women are envious of her or that she rejected the advances of some very proud men always trust your heart if the creator stood before a million men with the light of a million lamps only a few would truly see him because truth is already alive in their hearts. Truth can only be seen by those with truth in them. He who does not have truth in his heart will always be blind to her. Let them judge you. Let them misunderstand you. Let them gossip about you. Their opinions aren't your problem. You stay kind committed to love and free in your authenticity no matter what they do or say don't you dare doubt your worth or the beauty of your truth just keep on shining like you do there will always be someone willing to hurt you put you down gossip about you belittle your accomplishments and judge your soul. It is a fact that we all must face. However, if you realize that God is the best friend that stands beside you when others cast stones, you will never be afraid, never feel worthless, and never feel alone. Be silent and safe. Silence never betrays you. Be true to your word and your work and your friend. Put least trust in him who is foremost to praise you, nor judge of a road till it draw to the end.
no one truly knows what they will do in a certain situation until they are actually in it. It's very easy to judge someone else's actions by what you assume your own would be if you were in their shoes. But we only know what we think we would do, not what we would do. We judge others instantly by their clothes, their cars, their appearance, their race, their education, their social status. The list is endless. What gets me is that most people decide who another person is before they have even spoken to them. What's even worse is that these same people decide who someone else is and don't even know who they are themselves.